that there were, in fact, law and order. So I believed in my mind at that time that, you know, it was impossible for a man to be falsely accused and charged with something that they didn't do. For more than 30 years, an innocent New Orleans man was held behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Sherry Gibson. Sullivan Walter was just 17 years old when he was convicted and spent years at Angola. Less than 24 hours after his release, Eleanor Trebone sat down with him to find out how he survived. In 1986, I was uh, falsely accused and tried and convicted for a rape that I didn't commit. Sullivan Walter was convicted of forcible rape. He was arrested six weeks after the crime and his arrest was based on one composite drawing and a photo lineup. Police didn't once ask him for an alibi. At trial, he was found guilty based on witness testimony. The day of my sentencing was, was devastating. He spent 12 years in Angola. The rest of his time was spent in Elaine Hunt Correctional Centre. I was angry because I didn't quite understand why, why me? 36 years later. I was unable to breathe as if my breath was taken away for 36 years of my life. And the moment I was released, when I walked out the gates, I really felt that I was able to breathe once again. He's a free man. Police officer believed that Sullivan Walter resembled that composite drawing, and as a result, he was put in a photo lineup, which was shown to the victim, and she identified him. And that was essentially the entire case against him. His attorney, Richard Davis, with the Innocence Project New Orleans, says the crime happened in the Irish Channel, but Sullivan stayed in uptown. The person who'd actually done the rape had been seen hanging out in the area around the time of the crime. The evidence. The person who committed the rape wore a blue hat, Sullivan Walter owned a blue hat that was presented as evidence against him and again nothing distinctive about the hat not like a brand or a writing just a blue baseball cap and system failing the young man he was 17 a poor young black child accused of a crime so many years has passed me by and I've almost lost hope I didn't think that anything would ever happen because I felt that you know, I was going up against a giant. All Sullivan wants now is to live his life and accountability be taken for this mistake that cost him 36 years. I would like for the system to be fixed. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Well,